This is my power. My power. Hi there, my name is Bryce L. Tomlinson, and today I want to show you how you can make your videos go from this to this. Your uh, video quality is largely dependent on your lighting system and your ability to do color correction and exposure correction. So uh, a lot of times you can take video that it doesn't necessarily have to have the best lighting to begin with, but you can make sure that you get it lit correctly in your editing software. If you have any more advanced video editing software other than say Windows Movie Maker and maybe iMovie, you probably have these features embedded in your program. So here I have this piece of video that is lit up very poorly. It's, it's actually got good lighting, it's just that I don't have necessarily enough lighting. And it's white lighting, but my since my back wall and most of the lighting in my house is yellow lighting, your standard fluorescent lighting, uh, a lot of what you get from the full spectrum lights still may seem yellow, especially if they get a few hours on them and they're not quite as white as they used to be. So one of the steps that I do to correct that is at first just doing white balance correction. And a lot of people don't think about white balance correction uh, except for in their camera, but it's pretty easy to do actually inside your computer. In Movie Edit Pro, which is what I use, I can turn on the white balance and I can click on the white point and I can select any point over here that I know is supposed to be white. Now my wall is kind of an eggshell color, but I can color correct it to make it look white. You can also do this with teeth, uh, ironically. So you see that it makes it look a little bit whiter. The back wall looks a little bit whiter. If I want to pick a different point, I can pick something. If it didn't correct it quite enough, I try to pick a color that's kind of the opposite of what I, what I really want the temperature of my picture to look like. And I set it for white with the white point. And, and I can eventually get it to the point where I got just the right color balance. Like this is just about right. You can see that um, it's not quite as bright as I would like it to be. And so I will go into the brightness and contrast. In this case, I'm just going to use auto exposure, uh, which is what I normally use because I think Movieta Pro has a really good auto exposure. And you can see that this really makes the image pop. So as, as I'm on the screen, it really does set it off and it gives depth to the picture because uh, my backdrop is relatively plain and I try to have uh, myself and my, my uh, clothing to be a little bit colorful for my presentation. So it's just kind of a basic idea, just a real quick way to make your videos look drastically different from what they used to look like. And um, you can also set the color temperature a little more manually um, by selecting the color wheel down here and you can actually like move it in the temperature that you would like it to be. You know, if you want it to be cooler, you can move toward blue. Uh, a little more toward center gives it really good even, but you can cool it off, you can warm it up and, and select your color that you really want to have. Um, you can also turn down individual colors just with the red, green, and blue. But another trick that I like to do is if I have a picture that's a little bit dull or drab, then what I'll do is I'll crank up the saturation a little bit. And this way the colors really pop out. But as you see, I can get myself looking quite a bit like Hellboy if I'm not careful. But I can use that in any kind of scenic place or anything that that I want the colors to really pop out. You can turn up the saturation a little bit, or if you're looking for kind of an antique feel, you can also drop the saturation, which will eventually bring it to black and white. So these are just some color tips that you can use to make your videos look a little more high end, even if, you're, even if your camera's not all that great. Like I don't really have a fancy camera, but this, this allows me to have a little more crispness and poppiness to my videos. I hope this has been a big help to you. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more, make sure you click subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.